This is how to take a 3kVA UPS out of eco mode, um, which is indicated here by the bypass button. As you can see, the input power is now 120, the unit is on, and we're getting 120 volts from the output, uh, from the output receptacles, which is right there. And then this is the secondary output, which we're not using in this case. It's going to a power cord which is attached to the adapter, which is included in the box. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and hold the off button. Let go. Okay, the unit is now off. The output is showing is roughly 2 volts, nothing coming out of it. Then we're going to go ahead and hold the on and down arrow simultaneously. It's going to beep once, I'm going to let go. It's going to say buzzer on. This is the configuration menu. I'm not going to hit the up arrow because if I hit the up arrow, it's going to change this setting. Instead, to go to the next setting, I'm going to hit the down arrow. Um, so I'm going to keep, this is uh, testing. So, so I'm going to go down. This is the bypass voltage window. This is the frequency window. This is the inverter voltage. This is the mode. Right now I'm in eco mode. Now I'm going to hit the up arrow. I'm going to hit it once, twice, three times till I get to standard mode or default mode. So it says STD for standard mode. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to shut off the LCD display real quick and reset the configuration. There we go. Now I can go ahead and hit the on button. And I have voltage again on the back receptacles. And now it's no longer going to bypass or be in bypass mode. Since I'm in regular operating mode, not configuration mode, I can go ahead and hit the up and down arrow to cycle through the statistics um, on the unit itself. So in this case, it shows that the hertz is 60 hertz roughly. Voltage is 120 volts, 119 volts. Here's the utility hertz. Here's the inbound voltage. Here's the temperature of the batteries in Celsius. Here's how much backup time is remaining based on the load, which is zero load right now. So this is <clears throat> not very accurate. Um, 81 volts. This is the voltage or DC voltage of the batteries. This is the amperage, which correlates to the backup time. So there's no amperage to the backup time right now. The reading is not reasonable or accurate because there's no load on the unit itself, nothing plugged into it. Uh, and then this is the percentage of load of the capacity. And that's it.